Okay, now we will do a manual entry. Put the card in. Rest until now, now. And then entry yes. And shift. And country now the kingdom. So for 449, I was on bed till 16. Zero. Zero. I beginning my shift. Begin country United Kingdom. Yes, yeah, sixteen zero zero. I was on other work till sixteen thirteen. Entry sprint out. No confirm entries. Yes. Ready to drive. This is how you need to do an easy, an easy manual entry. Okay. Here we are. With the, where the heck are you? With another one. Yeah. Let's start the engine. Let's close the gates. The gates of Mordor. Happy days. And now, <coughs> where are we going? First, we need to go down to where? Down to Newport from Snaffley. Down to Newport from Snaffley. Snaffley. Let's use this exit. <clears throat> this load what I have on now it's it's heavy. It's really heavy. Oh, let's see. Somebody coming now. And today I'm with this Scania today, so I hope you'll do some nice vlogging. I hope you, I hope I'll record some really nice shots. <clears throat> Although I feel I feel much better now because I can speak. Yesterday I couldn't speak; like my throat was numb. Uh, I haven't got any COVID, it's just the hay, hay fever, this hay fever, what the heck is that? This is unbelievable. Donkeys all of you. Sit there. Sit there. Can't signal. They are running, man. This roundabout need to be fast. Otherwise, you'll be stuck there. Bloody hell, dude. This is happening. So, I'm going down to Newport. And then... And then... I need to go to... From Newport, I need to go to Chapstow. From Chapstow, I will have an empty trailer because I need to tip in Chapstow. So I need to go to load from the Jant and then back to Newport. And I think I gas something back from Newport here. Easy work, always easy. Even if it's something hard, always counted as an easy work, right? Headlamp Ford, main headlamp. Now I won't stop for that. I won't stop for that, I go down to Newport and fix it there. Headlamp for no. Okay man. It's still light, so <clears throat> it's still daylight, so it should be alright. Yeah, main headlamp for we go down to Newport and fix that headlamp there. The thing is 
I need to go down in Nipo. Now, now if I turn back, I lose. Because maybe some of you would say, hey, your head lap is 40, you should stop, you should call the feeder, you should do that, do that. The thing is, if I stop, call the feeder, they come out, they are up. Until the feeder comes out, it's an hour. So I lose an hour, right? Half an hour an hour. But if I go down to Newport and fix it there, the feet is over there. So I just go in, say, hey, my headlamp is all off. So it just comes out, change it in like five, ten minutes. And I, and I can carry on. You understand? You need to always think about if it's like a minor fault, like, like now, the headlamp. One headlamp, I don't know which one main headlamp but I don't know which one is the left side or the right side if it's like a, this type of minor for you need to think ahead like okay can I go to my depot because maybe you have a delivery like myself from a depot to another depot and can I go there and maybe can I can they fix it there so let's just carry on go there and they will fix it there and I don't and you don't lose time Okay, this is just an example. I don't want. I don't tell you to follow what I say. It's just. It's just an opinion. Like it's just literally an opinion. It's really just an opinion because I don't want to stop sound or, or go out now and see which one is faulty. Because I could have just jumped out and, and have a look which one is faulty. That's bright and green as well. So yeah. <coughs> Back on the motorway on the sleep road. Junction 48 and 4. Like on Scania's, they got power, man. They got power. If I press that acceleration, look, it's heavy, but it, it pulls it, man. It, it, it's got power, man. Really got some power. So we are in Newport now. Come on, let's get that green. Uh, I just passed, even if it turns amber. No, it was. Ah, it was amber. All right. Let's go on this lane. Don't you come? You saw I was signaling. So we need to take this this slow straight to the yard. Scania Bloody hell, it's a six no it's a seventy no sixteen plane Scania seventy plane Scania so it has just five years old it's just five years old man but it looks so old I right, look at that unbelievable if you would ask me, would you tramp in this truck? No way. Straight to I would reject it. 
if they would tell me Mike here is this truck go Trump with this to no take it back take the keys back thank you so much and I'm gone <laughs> there's no way I would Trump in this truck no way one the seat would, would kill your back the bed, the bed doesn't seem comfortable whatsoever. The bed really doesn't seem comfortable. And in the in the summer you would sweat like a pig in this truck. And then uh, I'm now that's mine. I don't care. So yeah. This truck is not good for Trump, in my opinion. The new man, yeah, the man is alright. It's alright, it's pretty, it's alright, it's perfect. Uh, the old man, you know, the 16 plates man, no. I was tramping with the 16 plate man, thank you. I don't need that animal. The bed it's uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable. What else? I mean to be honest, I had a bed when I was doing my three and a half ton internationally all over the place. I was sleeping in that bloody van for months at a time, like a lot, a lot, a lot. But I in one of the van I did the bed. So I've done it as I was wanted to be, you know, and yeah, it was was good. It was really good. It was the same bed as was in my old MAN, my 16 plate one. That was all right. But if you if you are fussy, if you want to be really like, okay, is this comfortable? No, it's not. It will kill your back. That's for sure. sleeping in that bed for five five days for four nights because if you go tramping here in UK it's like no it's four nights I don't know if somebody somebody does more than four nights or five nights but here this company is just four nights away because you do four nights away you know four nights out and the fifth day you do your shift and you come home and you and you're on your fifth night you sleep sleep in your bed at home if you don't do any overnight you know on a Friday yeah on a Friday yeah I've, I've done on a Friday once overnight and when, when you go tramping you know you earn a lot you earn a lot because they pay you overnight and you do like you do 13 hours you do 15 hours shift you know you do your limit you always they they push you to the limit they push you maybe today you'll do a 13 tomorrow 15 a day after tomorrow you'll do a, again a 13 a 13 15 or you do per week you do 3 15 and 2 13 so imagine put those all together so yeah, if, if you do tramping, you will learn a lot. Like you do like three times, a, three times a week, you do your 15 hours and then you do the, thir the 13 hours, you know, 2.30. Donkeys. I need to go slowly because it's quite heavy and I don't want to move the load move and stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. And I'll catch a rat, that's that's for sure. I'll I'll slow down already. You see? Catch a rat. 